Adding a grid to any maps you produce with QGIS is a great way to orient your viewers in space. So let's go ahead and look at how we do this. So we're going to open up our print layout. Here we just have a simple layout, shows the counties of Vermont. This is a letter sized image or page with half inch guides. So go ahead and click the map, make sure it's active, item properties tab, and we scroll down to the grid. We need to go ahead and add one, make sure it's highlighted, and then we can modify that grid. I prefer to use a cross grid type. And what we need to do here is sort of experiment with a possible interval. I'm gonna go ahead and choose 10,000 or 10,000 meters. In other words, 10 kilometers. And when I choose that, you can see here highlighted very quickly. We might wanna go ahead and shift this up again to 100,000 or 100 kilometers. Each of those grid marks is now 100 kilometers away. I suspect many of you, however, would prefer to use something like WGS84 or EPSG4326. If we click that, we'll need to change our interval, probably down to one will work pretty well, and we can see we have a number of hash marks or cross marks here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that even further to half. And now what we're gonna do is choose a frame. Let's go with zebra. We need to draw the coordinates so we can see what those coordinates actually are. We can choose a variety of doing this. I like using decimal with suffix. So here we can actually see the coordinate systems that most people are gonna recognize. And this is of course a WGS84 coordinate system. We need to go ahead and change some of these to vertical ascending. Let's change the right to vertical descending so everything fits on the page. Let's go ahead and drop the coordinate precision down to one so that we can see that we're actually showing things here in degrees, half degrees, and so forth. And really, that's it. You've now added a coordinate system that most people recognize to your maps in QGIS.